And as they try to resolve it in Washington, sometimes what you do is you say, well, there's a presidential campaign. It's already unfolding. Let's see if the leaders out there are going to help the party find its way. Jeb Bush has one view. Uh, you have another potential candidate. Listen here, Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal. He was in town last night. And this is not just about immigration. It's about just about every issue. But Bobby Jindal says, why did we elect all these Republicans if they're just going to compromise? My message to the Republican leaders, the Republican Party, the Republican elected officials is, first, do what you promised us you were going to do when you asked us to vote for you. Secondly, don't become just cheaper Democrats. We don't need Democrat light. Quite frankly, I mean, if the whole point of this election was simply to get John Boehner and Mitch McConnell nicer offices, let's give them back. I mean, what is the point of having a Republican Party if it's only going to become a second liberal party in Washington, D.C.? So some of the potential candidates for president are trying to push Congress more to the right. Uh, you have a Jeb Bush who, in his speech at the Detroit Economic Club, said, why are we fighting over immigration? This should be easy to deal with, easy for him to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, what, one thing Bobby Jindal is talking about here is, is the Republican proposals to, for an Obamacare alternative. Right. Um, he's saying that they might raise taxes, so he doesn't want Republicans to be Democrat light. Um, but Bobby Jindal, an Ivy Leaguer, yeah. a Rhodes Scholar, is now the red meat guy. And the national political conversation in the Republican Party is more about what he's saying and what Jeb Bush is saying and what Scott Walker is saying than anything that's happening in Washington. So when you have people like Bobby Jindal or Scott Walker or Chris Christie throwing red meat to Iowans, that's where the media is going. And that puts pressure on people in the House, too, I mean, and people in the Senate. The, the conservative energy right now is where it's at. Well, and Bobby Jindal used to be in the House. So, right. you know, there's that, too. I, yeah. I just always have a problem with someone who says they're not a Washington yeah. insider, and they've <laughs> actually you know, worked here. And, and he's, he's a governor, and there are many governors and former governors running for president. And that, this is always the frame for right. them, that Washington is broken. You need a reformer, an outsider.